In today's video, I'm going to go over my analysis and scouting report for four of the MLB games on Saturday's slate. The first game I'm going to look at is the Blue Jays and Yankees. I actually have a client feature play in this game available at the link below, but I have a plus money play that I also like, which I'm going to give out in this video. Chris Bassett takes the mound for the Blue Jays, while Nestor Cortez takes the mound for the Yankees. Nestor Cortez has a good reputation and Bassett really doesn't. But if you break down the numbers and if you dig a little bit deeper, Bassett is actually the better pitcher of the two. As I've said in many videos in the past, I rank my starting pitchers on a curve of 30 so I can compare them to the 30 bullpens and the 30 lineups equally. On that curve of 30, I have Chris Bassett ranked number 12 while I have Nestor Cortez ranked number 18. The contrast is even more stark when you look at the head-to-head -head matchups. Chris Bassett has absolutely dominated the Yankees in his history in the MLB. He has a career against batting average of 202 and an OPS against of 452, which is really, really minuscule. And that's a sample size of 94 at-bats. In April, Bassett went against the Yankees and allowed one earned run in six and one-third innings. So he's pretty good against these Yankee batters. Cortez's numbers against the Blue Jays, not quite as good. And the Yankees' bullpen is horrific right now. I have them ranked 25th out of 30 teams. My rankings include current form, season form, and a bunch of statistics and peripheral statistics mixed together in my database. I have the Blue Jays bullpen ranked 14. These are the same numbers and algorithms that I've been using since I was a Major League Baseball scout about 10 years ago. Batting-wise, I have the Blue Jays ranked number 17, while I have the Yankees ranked number 24. So I have the Blue Jays winning every category, batting, bullpen, and starting pitcher. So I think a nice play would be the Blue Jays on the money line. That's only about a plus 105. What I really like is a huge plus money play, which is Chris Bassett to record a win. That's plus 210. Uh, might be worth putting a little bit of money on that uh, to get a big return because Chris Bassett generally goes deep into his games. He has great numbers against these Yankee batters and the Blue Jays have the better bullpen. That's my free play for this game. Let me interrupt the previews of the games to let you know I'm Tokyo Brandon. I'm Wager Talk's number one all sports profit capper in 2024. Nobody else can say that. I'm also Wager Talk's number one MLB profit capper in 2024, and nobody else can say that either. I'm Wager Talk's number one all sports profit capper three of the last four years, and nobody else can say that. If you go to the link below, you can get my two feature MLB plays today. And before you leave, please click the like button and let Wager Talk know that you think Tokyo Brandon is cool and you want more of Tokyo Brandon's free content and free plays. By clicking the like button, you'll let WagerTalk know that you like me and they'll let me keep doing videos. With no further ado, let's get back to the previews. The next game I want to look at is the Reds and the Cardinals. We've got Carson Spires going for the Reds and Sonny Gray going for the Cardinals. Uh, the batting, I have them pretty much even. I have the Reds ranked 14 and I have the Cardinals ranked 13. Uh, bullpen, there's a huge discrepancy. The Reds have a much better bullpen uh, than the Cardinals. I have the Reds ranked 6th while I have the Cardinals Close to the bottom at 27 out of 30 teams. Starting pitcher, Cardinals have a huge advantage. Sonny Gray, I have him ranked 6 on a curve of 30 of all starting pitchers in Major League Baseball, while I have Carson Spires ranked 28th. So what do you do in a game like this where one team has the starting pitching advantage, the other team has the bullpen advantage, and the hitting is pretty equal? I like to play outs recorded sometimes. And outs recorded is a play that some people don't understand, so I'll give you a quick explanation. One inning is three outs. So generally in outs recorded, you'll see 15 and a half or 16 and a half. 15 outs recorded is five innings because it's uh, 15 divided by three is five. So 15 and a half over under, you're betting whether the pitcher will pitch an out in the sixth inning or not. Today, Sonny Gray's outs recorded prop is 17 and a half. So the book is asking, will he get 18 outs or not? 18 outs is six innings, uh, 18 divided by 
three is six. Sunny Gray against these red batters is kind of a small sample size, so I don't really rely on that for my analysis. But if you look at Sonny Gray's last few starts, he's gone seven innings, 7.2 innings, seven innings, and he should be able to finish at least six innings in this game. So this is actually a client play that I sent to my clients. It's not the one for sale, but it is a client play that I sent to my clients. I like Sonny Gray over 17.5 outs recorded. You can find that at DraftKings. The next game I'm going to preview is the Astros and Mets. Man, the Mets are red hot right now. I have them batting first in Major League Baseball right now, and I have the Astros batting third in Major League Baseball. Uh, let's take a look at the bullpens. I have the Astros bullpen ranked 14 and the Mets bullpen ranked 13, so pretty much uh, knotted up in a tie there. Starting pitchers, Framber Valdez goes for the Astros and Tyler Megill goes for the Mets. I have Valdez ranked much higher than Megill. I have Valdez ranked 9 out of a curve of 30 on all starting pitchers. And I have Megill close to the bottom, ranked 26th. With the bullpen fairly equal and the hitting fairly equal, with such a huge discrepancy at starting pitching, I think a bet on the Astros on the money line is a good play in this one. That's what I would do. Uh, it's not a client play, but I certainly would lean the Astros winning this one. It is a little scary with how hot, hot the Mets are hitting right now, uh, but that is a lean in this game. The next game I'm going to look at is the Angels and the Tigers. Uh, we've got Griffin Canning going for the Angels while Olsen is going for the Tigers. Uh, Griffin Canning, not the best pitcher in Major League Baseball. He currently has a 3-8 record with a 4-7-2 ERA. So he's been struggling this season, and I think he's going to struggle again here today. But I don't really like a side in this one because both teams are kind of equally bad. I really don't know why the books love the Detroit Tigers so much. They're 37-45, and 45, where the Angels are 35 and 46. Pretty even teams here. Uh, the books give a lot of credit to the Tigers, and I really don't know why. But instead of a side here, I'm going to look at Griffin Canning's strikeout prop. The book currently has Griffin Canning's strikeout prop at 5.5 over under, and I think it's way too high. On the season, Canning only strikes out 5.6 batters per nine innings, and the Tigers strike out a little less than the major league average. They're striking out eight per nine innings. So if you do the math, Canning goes about 66% in to the games that he starts. So calculating that along with a few of the Tigers peripheral stats, I come to 4.51 strikeouts for Griffin Canning, which is far under the six strikeouts he would have to throw to hit the over on this. So my lean in this game, it's not a client play, but it is this it's a strong, it's a strong opinion. I think Griffin Canning under five and a half strikeouts is a good play to make some money on. So that's my free play for this game. Those are my four free plays and previews. Again, I'm Tokyo Brandon. I'm Wager Talk's number one MLB profit capper in 2024. I'm also Wager Talk's number one all sports profit capper 2024. 2022 and 2021. I don't have streaks. I have seasons. Go to this link below and you can get my two feature client plays in MLB today. I also have some Mexican baseball, Japanese and Korean baseball. Before you leave, click the like button and let Wager Talk know that you like my videos. They'll keep letting me do more and I can keep bringing you great analysis and free plays. I'm the number one profit capper in 2024, and nobody else can say that. That's all for today's video. I'll be back with more. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only.